the common tree frog. Everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you also love jumping in puddles when it rains, Hero? <laughs> Let's see who can make the biggest splash. It's a frog. This frog sounds like a duck. And it has lines on its back. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Frog. Hi, Katie. Are you there? We found a strange frog in the garden. It has lines on its back. Hi, Leo. What an interesting looking frog. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. Great. I'm coming up. Hero. You stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. The frog you found is a common tree frog, but it's also known as a four-lined tree frog because some of these frogs have four long lines running down their backs, just like this one. The common tree frog lives in trees and spends most of its life hopping from branch to branch high in the treetops. I see. But how is the frog able to stay up in trees? The common tree frog has special sticky toes that help it hang onto branches and tree trunks. Like all frogs, common tree frogs are amphibians. Amphibians are animals that can live in water and on land. Common tree frogs spend the beginning of their lives in the water as tadpoles. Tadpoles are newborn baby frogs that hatch from eggs. When tadpoles grow into adults, they leave the water and live in trees. I see. So, what kind of food do common tree frogs eat? They eat insects and worms. They can be found in all kinds of places with water and trees in different countries in Southeast Asia. Hmm, I think we should return the tree frog to its natural home, where it can find a lot more trees and food. Come and join us. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a lively little friend with you today. What's it doing, Ranger Rocky? It's so noisy. Now that it's rainy season, the frog must be looking for a mate. Common tree frogs usually breed during the rainy season. The one you found must be a male frog. Male frogs gather around still water and wait on the leaves of plants. As they do this, they call out to the females to attract them. Once the male finds a mate, the frogs breed and the female lays her eggs above the water. The eggs are laid in special foam nests, hung on leaves or twigs. During heavy rain, the tadpoles that hatch from the eggs are washed down into the water. That puddle looks too small for the frog to find a mate. If you want to find a better breeding ground for this tree frog, keep a lookout for a grassy place near still water. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a river surrounded by a lot of rocks. And on this side is a still stream with a lot of grass. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a river surrounded by a lot of rocks. And over there is a still stream with a lot of grass. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to the still stream with a lot of grass because it's a safe place for the tree frogs to lay their eggs. Let's go! Yuck! There's rubbish everywhere! Look, Katie! Are those tadpoles in the mud? Those aren't tadpoles, Leo. 
they are mud skippers. Mud skippers are, well, a type of fish. Fish? Then why are they not in the water? That's because mud skippers can live on water and on land. While underwater, they breathe through gills like other fish. When the mud skippers are on land, they can breathe through their skin as long as they stay wet. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Wait, is the frog still on my hat, Katie? Oh, no. He's missing again. He must be somewhere around here. Hmm. We can't find the frog with so much litter around. We should clean up the place first. Good idea, Katie. I bet the mud skippers will be happy too if the litter is gone. Let's clean up the place and look for the tree frog together. tree frog and we've cleared away the litter great work everyone <laughs> what should we look for now hello junior rangers ranger, ranger rocky. rocky if you want to find the tree frog's breeding ground just look for leaves near a stream not for a happy dream or a bowl of whipped cream but look for leaves near a stream I see. So not for a happy dream or a bowl of whipped cream, but, but look, look for, for leaves, leaves near a stream. stream. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the tree frog's breeding ground, you have to look for leaves near a stream. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the tree frog's breeding ground. Could this be the tree frog's breeding ground? <gasps> it's a snake! I don't think this is a safe place for the frog. Let's continue. What about this place? This is a toad's home. Let's look somewhere else. Is that the tree frog's breeding ground? The leaves are near the stream. This seems like a good place. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Wow! There are so many of them. We did it. We found the tree frog's breeding ground. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a common tree frog in our garden. We learned that common tree frogs live in trees and that male common tree frogs gather around still water where they use their loud calls to attract females. So we went to the forest and found it a nice spot near a stream. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished! The Mola Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, it's a beautiful day. Let's soak up the sun. Ah, isn't this nice, Hero? Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Ranger. What do you have at the back of your truck, Ranger Rocky? It's a fish known as the mola. I'm bringing it back to the ocean. Oh, excuse me. Ranger Rocky speaking. Oh my, I'll come over right away. I have to rescue an elephant that has its foot caught in a trap. Can you Junior Rangers help me return the mola to its natural home? Yes, I can, but where does the mola live? Thank you, Leo. I'll call you again. Ranger Rocky, wait! <laughs> where 
Where do molas live? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mola. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a Mola that Ranger Rocky left in our garden. Hi, Leo. A Mola? That's a strange looking fish. Ranger Rocky asked us to return the Mola to its natural home, but I don't know where that is. I've already started looking. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our fishy friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. What have you found out about the mola? Hi, Leo. The mola is also known as the ocean sunfish, and its scientific name is mola mola. The word mola is a Latin word for millstone. A millstone is a circular stone that is used to grind grains. The mola sure looks like a millstone. Is it as heavy as one? An adult mola can weigh over 2,000 kilograms and can grow up to four meters tall. However, it has a very small mouth for a fish its size. Molas eat some small fish and squid, but its favorite food is jellyfish. Jellyfish normally sting, but molas are one of the few animals that can eat jellyfish without getting hurt. Wow, that's amazing. But Ranger Rocky wants us to bring it back to its natural home. So where is that? Well, the mola is also called the ocean sunfish because it lives in temperate and tropical waters of every ocean in the world. Hmm, we have to bring this mola back to its home in the tropical waters. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Hello, Junior Rangers. How are things going? We've just reached the coast and we're about to go into the water, Ranger Rocky. That's great, Leo. As you might know, the mola is also called an ocean sunfish. That's because molas like to sunbathe near the surface of the water. They warm themselves up before diving deeper into colder waters to look for food. Unfortunately, the mola's rough skin houses many parasites, which are tiny creatures that live on or inside another animal or plant. To remove these parasites, molas swim among coral reefs, where small fish live. These small fish eat the parasites on the mola's bodies. So if you want to find this mola a good home in the ocean, try to look for a place with coral reefs. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a small island in the middle of the ocean. There's no sign of coral reefs here. And on this side are clear waters with coral reefs. Do you know where we should go? Over there, is a small island with no sign of coral reefs. And over there are clear waters with coral reefs. So where should we go? There, that's right. We should head towards the clear waters with coral reefs. We'll find small fish that eat the mola's parasites there. Let's go. This looks like a nice spot to let the mola out. There you go, mola. Swim away and find your friends. Look, the mola is enjoying the sun. <coughs> oh no, those seagulls are pecking at the mola. Let's chase them away. Shoot, Shoot seagulls, seagulls, go away. Go away. <coughs> now there are more seagulls. Let's throw out some breadcrumbs. Maybe that will distract the seagulls. Yes, let's try that. It does.
doesn't work. Katie and Hero, let's take out our propellers and chase these seagulls away. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Do not stop the seagulls, Junior Rangers. They are helping the mola. Besides small fish, molas often seek help from seagulls to remove parasites from their bodies. Then let's not disturb the seagulls anymore. We've returned the mola to the ocean, but it still needs to find food. Jellyfish are the mola's favorite food. So if you want to find food for the mola, just look for jellyfish in the ocean, not for a kettle of magic potion or a bottle of suntan lotion, but look for jellyfish in the ocean. I see. So not for a kettle of magic potion, or a bottle of suntan lotion, but, but look, look for, for jellyfish, jellyfish in, in the, the ocean. ocean. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find food for the mola, you have to look for jellyfish in the ocean. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a swarm of jellyfish. What are those? They're spiky and definitely not jellyfish. Let's move on. Is that a jellyfish? No, it's a clear plastic bag. We'll make sure to clean that up later. Let's continue. What do we have here? These are jellyfish. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, Mola Mola. We did it. We found jellyfish for the Mola to eat. Great work, everyone. Yay! Yay! Rocky left a mola in our garden. We learned that small fish and seagulls help to get rid of parasites that live on molas, and that jellyfish are the mola's favorite food. So we brought the mola back to the ocean where it can eat a lot of jellyfish. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you.